What up, world, and welcome to another edition of Vantage Point. I am your host, MC Sunrise Music, and I want to thank you guys, as usual, for joining, uh, for tuning into the show. Um, thank you guys for being in the live. If, you, if you're in the live, make sure you uh, send a message. Let me know who's in the live, uh, where you're representing. And um, maybe we're going to do something a little different this episode. I'm thinking um, we still going to have the audio today. But I'm thinking making this show a whole audio show for the artists who don't have music videos or, you know, whatever that issue may be. Maybe lyric, just only lyric videos. I think we're going to focus this show solely on artists without music videos. But with that being said, we still going to get into the audio today. Check it out. True story. What's the evil that's against me if you're with me and you're for me? No lie. Lord, I, Lord, I keep my eyes on you whether day or night. Walking with my Lord till the day I die. Crush you in the storm when the sun don't shine. Lord, I, Lord, I see my life down. It really ain't mine. Heart full of words. If you stay on my mind, I am yours and you are. That was the audio of the day. Make sure you guys are supporting these artists. Support, support, support these artists. Uh, like, comment, subscribe um, to the show. Um, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Going back, make sure, like, like I said, make sure you guys are going out and uh, subscribing to these artist pages too. Um, make sure you are cop copying the music. Uh, Following them on social media. Make sure you guys go out and support the show because that's the reason behind what we do here. Um, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe for this show as well. And if you want to support a little bit more, feel free to see it into the ministry. Bow, cash out below. Um, anything helps to keep the show rolling, keep the ball rolling. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. And uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Hope you're having a blessed day. Enjoy the show. Peace. So 
Welcome to another edition of Vantage Point. I am your host, MC Sunrise Music, and I got my special guest today, D. Riddick. What's good, bro? What's going on with you, bro? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. So what do you want the people to know about D. Riddick, man? First of all, I'm a God-fearing man, first of all. And I'm just I'm just an upcoming artist. I've been doing music now going on maybe a year and a half, one or two years this year. Just trying to get my testimony out there, trying to get my name out there to have the platform to reach more souls that I can reach locally right here. 
So I'm just trying to take this music thing international. Okay. What what inspired you to even get into music? Really, man, like music was not my thing. Like I never wanted to do music. It was it all came based off of a dream. I had a dream one night that I was on stage performing and you just wake up next day, think it's a regular dream. Then I had a dream the next night. So I'm like, man, it's kind of weird because I had the same exact dream. So I'm like, okay, yeah. whatever. So I let my pastor know about it because he interprets dreams and everything. So he was like, usually when you had the same dream, God's trying to show you something that you didn't understand or did, that you didn't comprehend. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, well, it can't be doing music. So he was like, well, you never know. If he, you know what I'm saying, wants you to get something that you think to get you had a dream again so they go by they had a dream but then that day after had the same exact dream so i'm like man i'm not trying to do music because i'm kind of played the background type of person i never done music never thought about it i love music but just never wanted to be like in the crowd type of person had yeah. a dream again so i wake up i tell my wife about it like that's the third time so i'm, I'm still not believing i'm like this can't be my fault <laughs> so i'm like i'm like okay lord if this, if this really is in your will then let me have a dream again so that Zach Knight had it again for the fourth time. Wow. The fourth time I wake up, I wake up furious. I'm mad. Like, ain't no way I'm going to do this movie thing. But I'm like, okay, God, if this is your plan, make the path and I'm going to walk through it. And that's just how I came. I kind of met up with one guy that was going to my church for a while by the name Charlie Alexander. And I did music with him for a little bit. He kind of showed me the ropes. Like I said, I was a green thumb, never recorded before, never wrote a song, only wow. rap based off songs that I knew off the radio and everything. So yeah, yeah. I just like prayed. I was like, Holy Spirit, if this is your way, you gotta guide me because I, I don't I don't know the way at all, man. Wow, that's crazy. So what's what's your goal in music? Like I said, right now, right now to kind of build a platform of a sound to basically when someone hears D Ridd, what do they think of? What sound do they think? What feelings or emotions do they get based off my songs? Cause I kind of just wanna reach the youth, reach reach as many souls as I can through my music and my testimony and let them know that Christian rap isn't what you would portray if you never heard of it, thinking it's so scripture-based and let you know that you can have the same type of sound, secular, quote-unquote, in the gospel realm. And basically to draw those younger youth in, they're like, like, hey, you can have fun in the kingdom. You can turn up in the kingdom. You don't got to be drunk. You don't got to be high. You can still have fun. You can still go party. You can still hang with your friends or whatever, but it can just be all kingdom business. So yeah. my goal is just basically to reach out to the younger generation, the youth, especially the young men that was coming from the streets, coming from a little background that I came from. Like, hey, you can come from a certain area. You can come from a certain background, a certain hood per se, and you can change the ways and you can bring the hood with you. So basically, I want to take what I learned from the streets and things that I've done in the streets to basically give glory to God. Yeah. So were, were you always um in the faith or were, did that come later on? You said, excuse me, you said I was always were, what? Were you always in faith or what, did that come later on? Like, did, were you no, always? No, 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 no. I grew up, uh, my parents, my mom and dad, they, they went to church and everything. So I kind of was in and out of church growing up, but I never really had my own personal relationship with God. Like, man, the church I used to go to was a basketball street, a basketball court across the street. We used to go play <laughs> basketball. So I was, I was yeah. really in church per se. <laughs> but once I hit about 13, 14, I really didn't have to go for real. So mm -hmm. I kind of was doing my thing out there in the streets or whatever. But it, it, it really took an act of God to move supernatural to really come show himself to really get me back in church, man. And that happened in 2019. So yeah. 2019 is when I kind of rededicated myself and really wanted to build this relationship with God. And that, and that all came through me basically getting caught up and jammed up and them had to do a little bit of time and caught uh cut a couple charges and everything you had like what 11 you said 11 years yeah i was facing 11 years man i was wow. 11 years i was had a, um i had possession of drug charge possession of drug intent and wow. i had a uh, possession of intent to distribute with uh firearms wow. so um all that and based off of that amount that i had it was like an automatic year to five. And then based off having a gun, that was an right. automatic five, man. But like I said, like all that, like through faith and prayer, like my, like I said, I I can just give you a little quick rundown. Like two, three days prior to going, getting caught, right? Take it back to 2019. I'm just going to sum this up to a couple of minutes. Um, my wife has started going to the church I'm currently at. She, she got invited by her mom, so she going. So she come on, like, oh, you come try this church out. And I'm like, nah, I'm at that point, I'm, I'm deep in the streets. I'm like, not thinking about church. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, nah, I tried that before. I didn't church. I grew up, I ain't, ain't doing that. So this was Sunday. So I told her that day, I was like, man, in order for me to go back to church, I was like, God would have to come down and show himself that he 
real. Just come show me, you know. That yeah, basically, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Basically kind of like stunting on God, like, hey, I don't think you real. <laughs> you know how to come show me. Yeah. So fast forward three days later, Wednesday, me and my wife, we go to be coming from the gym, coming home. I'm I'm about to smoke or whatever. And um I'm on my balcony. And I no f- f- rewind a couple minutes earlier, my mom stayed in the same neighborhood as me. So I'm checking on her house. And as I'm leaving her house, I see in this cul-de-sac a couple street stuff. It's like a few po- police cars and they're, they're probably about 12 deep. They're talking. And I'm like, I, I talked to my wife. I'm like, man, they about to go get somebody. <laughs> so uh, about 10, 15 minutes later, like I said, I just gave him the jump, about to shower, smoke, go back out, run, do whatever I'm about to do for the day. And I'm on the balcony and I just see officers coming from every angle, basically towards my building. Oh, so wow. I'm, like, yeah, I'm like, whoa, you know, so <laughs> on a house and one of my boys, he called me like, man, the police got your building surrounded. And I'm like, man, I just seen like 10. So next thing you know, knock at the door. It's like 15 officers at my house, man. So they basically like, yo, we know what you've been on. So they cuffed me up. They got me on the steps. You know, they got the warrants and all that good stuff and yeah. searching the house. So in between. So I'm sitting on the steps. And it reminded me back to Sunday. I'm like, dang, I just was saying, you got to show me. Because, you know, every time you get in a situation, you're like, okay, God, you get me out of this situation, I won't do it again. I just said that too. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting on the steps, and I'm cuffed. I'm sitting on my apartment steps, cuffed up. And I'm like, okay, God, if this is your sign, then show me you're real to get me out of this situation. But I don't mm-hmm. say that really to get out of the situation. I'm still starting on him. Because I'm still like, I know what's in the house. You know what's in the house. There's no way I'm supposed to make it out of this situation. Yeah. So they do all the things they search to find whatever they get all the stuff. But they write me a summons. They write me a summons. They let me go. They write mm. me a summons. So basically, I, I hit my lawyer the next day. They're like, oh, they're going to try to get you to tell or they're going to try to, you know, get some information out of you. So my lawyer is like, don't worry about nothing. Put everything in my hands. So I'm like, okay. But he like, if you don't say nothing to them, they're going to indict you later. So fast forward a couple months, they end up indicting me on all the felony charges and everything. Go through my lawyer's situation. I kind of had one lawyer I started out with. He kind of jammed me up, had to get up. Then I went to a public defender. That's when she was like kind of working with the with the courts and was like, you facing 11 years. So yeah. I'm like, when she told me that, I'm like, okay, I got to go get another higher lawyer. So I went and got another higher lawyer, went to church, told my pastor about it, be prayed, prayed. And I went through that case from 2019 to 2021. I got caught March 2019, uh, but I didn't get locked up until January, I mean, February 2021. So wow. within that two-year time span, I'm... You know, I'd have developed the relationship yeah. with Christ out of groups. So I'm like, Lord, it's just not the same guy that got caught up. But, you yeah. know, everything catch up. But like I said, like, through faith and prayer, and of course, the natural thing with money, like I ended up paying almost like 15 grand in lawyer fees. But that 11 years turned into me just doing 90 days, man. That's what's up. So, so ever since then, I said, Lord, no matter how it go, I'm still going to vow to serve you. You showed yourself. You came and moved supernatural. I did. Like yeah. I said, I didn't go to jail that day. I got caught up. And that was yeah. my prayer. Like, if I don't get locked up today, I change my life forever wholeheartedly. So yeah. even though I end up going later on and all that happened, it was all, all in his works and his plans, man. I end up going to jail, saving a couple of people in there and everything, man. That's what's up. He had to, he had to push you to the line to get you to get your mind right. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So like, like I said, it was a two-year time span. I got it all down packed in between that. And I'm still growing and everything, building my relationship with him, taking it a day at a time. That's what's up. All right, so with that being said, we're going to jump into a video real quick. Be right back, my man, Dee Reddy. Yes, sir. Soul Puppy Music. Jonah Nathan, Crusade the MC, and Liz Loha. The truck is so small, yeah, the folks great things. Don't listen to them rappers. They don't care about the kids. Beats are tame, but who can tame the tongue? It's just wrestling, even for the deadly toys on. Red type fire makes you choke. Is what the fire can't consume. It'll stain with smoke. So burn, baby, burn your mouth, shit in inferno. Words burn the turds and hurt like sticks and brimstone. Protect your neck bone from these imps and cut ropes. They live for money, but spiritually they're dead broke. They put their whole hope in things that's temporal and gain the whole world for the price it is. So the thoughts are sterile, words they don't arrival. That's why I speak life from the pages of the Bible. Sport, not the apparel, all things are made to rest. We walk the road, seldom travel by the multitude. Damn, we won't be free of shame that God's appetite. Focus on the material things in life. They ain't split up from them, but a little bit. The limits of that rise up to this world. They target the head, trying to take out his band. Waste no time when it comes to the young. So forget about the tongue with the gun. Cause the power of life and death is no time. I reflect the eternal through this music. 
Angelus is sacred, truth is naked, bless it and break it. Take it and feed the thousands. It's their must and see faith that's moving mountains. Stuck. No longer bound, but driven to give up all. Trying to shake these kids from the streets and it's gone. We can't let them fall victim to killing our children, but worse to deadly venom. They send messages like self-worth is equal to net worth. And in the same breath, they bless God and curse. Living in the image of pimp hustles and hoes. Reaping to the flesh where corruption is sown. We do before they grown, tell them not to be conformed. Don't cast no stones, cause we are far short. I got love for your player, I just hate the sport. I got love for your player, I just hate the sport. See them movies, they shame that God's appetite. They focus on the material things in life. They exploit them, and they must be a little close. The limits of them, rise and lose this world. They target the head, trying to take out his men. And waste no time when it comes to the young. So forget about the punk with the gun. Cause the power of life and death is our theology matters, we fall into patterns that awkwardly start with these thoughts to establish these doctrines that serve us. We lost our discernment, it's we that we please, not the God who we worship. They say that our words create God's power to be negate, like it's ours to demonstrate. We've allowed it to infiltrate and be part of the church service. Tongues that we don't interpret, sermons without a purpose, and never beneath dispersion. If ever the time are urgent to tell you your mind, the verses that measure the likes of verdict, who secularize the person of Christ to remain sovereign. No shame in the name dropping, instead of breaking chains, you're a slave to the Bank profit instead of teaching the text, keeping the sheep fed. You fill them with regret, unwilling to be led by the men that the father sent, who followed the footsteps of the one and who were kept the one that they reject. Whoa, it's hard as peace when the nature is war. The models get swords and life is so warm. But this more life than what you're talking about. So we're here to talk about what's all that life out. I know it's hard to speak peace when it seems out of reach. I don't refuse to prove the air our kids breathe. Must be some things that build up our young. How our life and death is in the tongue. I know it's hard to speak peace when our nature is war. The miles get chores and life is so raw. But this more than life than what you're talking about. So we're here to talk about what's wrong and left tongue. I know it's hard to speak peace when it seems out of reach. I refuse to move the air I can't dream. But those are the things that build up our tongue. How our life and death is in the tongue. Mama always said, watch what comes out your mouth. Mama. Mama always said, watch what comes out your mouth. Mama always said, watch what comes out your mouth. Mama always said, watch what comes out your mouth. But give them father, they don't know what they speak. They're trading kingdom out for that old politicians and sneaks. I pray for lost souls that are caught out in the limbo. They're driven to the destination by the beat in the temple. They work on sin in the temple. They travel straight to the temple. Deep conditioning your vision with the vision and then bones. Them bones, I pray you're born to raise like the Messiah. The enemy must be his life. The truth remains the light. I see the roof, the roof of the mouths on fire. The temple got the rose and carnal and worldly desire. Hey, Jehovah Jireh, come provide a guide to tie it. Everything they heard and wrapped is wrapped around the neck. They're wired. Only you can take the evil and make it glorify. Can stop the enemy that in his tracks and make him see so Shout out to Solomonic Journey, Soul Puppy Music, Captain Ken with Alpha Omega Music Studios, to every Christian rap artist that holds to the standard of sacred scripture, and every biblical preacher that rightly divides the word of truth, and everyone else, watch what comes out your mouth. Yeah. How he loves us. 
loves us so. Come on, help me say it. He, he is jealous of Jesus. Jesus. Love like a hurricane, I am a tree. Oh, beneath me, the weight of your wind and mercy, mercy, mercy. All of a sudden, I am unaware of these afflictions, eclipsed by glory. Oh,
back my man D Riddick. So um how do you feel about um so many Christian artists and pastors coming out with all kind of like scandals and and uh you know the blasphemous stuff that's going on lately in the in the Christian world? I mean, how I really feel about it just basically Bible scripted, basically like this is all prophesied that it was gonna happen in these days that we're in, that people was gonna be turning away from Christ and people was gonna be, you know, greed of money and self-glory and all that thing. So pretty much when I see it, I, I get happy. Even though it's a bad thing based off of that these people are supposed to be in Christ, it just let me know that we're in the right season and it's times where now they know that Christ is coming soon. So I kind of like when our church we're at walk, I go to Walker Ministries in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And we're an end time church. So our pastor, Pastor Rod Walker, he basically has been preparing us for this ever since I've been there in before my time of being in that ministry. So yeah. everything that I'm seeing that's happening in the world with the tragedies, with all these things coming out, with the famine in the land and all these viruses, pandemics, he's already prepared us for this. Like we was already ahead of COVID like a mm. year in advance, always prepped with the food and water. So when I see these things, it's just like, hey, I know the time being closer, but it's still perilous times and that you have to pray for these people to turn from those ways you know what i'm saying so that they can come back because yeah. time getting shorter and shorter even though it, it might not be tomorrow or next year but you know once people go back to their old ways and turn from christ it's like it's harder for them to come back based off of when they first met christ and when they was on fire for them and they was seeing signs and wonders and miracles and on fire holy spirit but just like, like I said, like when you have someone who's turned away and fallen, it's kind of hard for them to come back because it's like they they've been there already. So it's not it's not like you minister to a person off the street who don't know Jesus for the first time and you're introducing them, showing them your testimony and giving them script of how he brought you out. It's kind of like, hey, you already know these things. Yeah. Basically, in those situations, it's like you need to pull up scripture. Like, hey, you're fulfilling Bible prophecy, and mm -hmm. basically, the things that you're doing, you need to turn back away from them because your time won't get short. And based off in being that you know the word or what's in the word as preachers that been caught in scandals and like, you know, the outcome of these things. So yeah. it's, it's basically if you truly believe this or not. And, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of just like, that, that's like as an intercessor, man, you just got to kind of like pray for those type of things, man. Even though it's like, well, probably you can't stop it because it has to happen. But you just pray for the minds of the believers, man, to stay sober minded and stay strong to basically enduring these times because it's a mind game and it's just, it's all in your mind it's all in war in your mind so it's just you got to make sure as believers and brothers and your sisters in Christ you just make sure that their minds continue to be fortified you check on your brothers check on your sisters that they might you know what I'm saying just like people with depression they might smile on your face and be like oh I'm good and then go home every night they think about killing themselves you know what I'm saying so it's just a spirit that's roaming the earth man there's a bunch of demonic spirits so you just got to pray against those wicked forces like you say we don't fight with flesh and blood it's, it's all in the principalities of the spirit realm so mm -hmm. you just gotta pray for these people man and constant thing like the bible say pray without season because it's a mind war you battle with yourself all these things that they're doing that's just all internal so to me like i said like i i just i always just look at it like man it's sad but at the end of the day like i seen this before in the bible like you read the bible you, you know these things are supposed to happen so yeah. it's, it's just it's just a sad thing, man. But at the end of the day, like you be joyous through everything. You continue to pray for them. You, you mourn for them by, by, from leaving. But, you know, it has to happen. Yeah. So I don't really get too much into it. I just try to stay on that prayer wall, man. Yeah. Try to stay strong. So yeah. for uh, for upcoming artists, uh, I know you're still kind of new to the game, but um, for upcoming sure. artists, do you have any advice for them? Yeah. Yes. My, what I would say for any upcoming artist, whether you've been in the game two days, a year, three years, or a couple of weeks, is basically stay true to yourself. Allow Holy Spirit to guide you through the front to the to the end because you don't want to kind of make moves without Holy Spirit and thinking that you're getting ahead and it's just a major setback later on down the road. So, like, you just want to make sure that you're guided by Holy Spirit and you pray for every move, even when it comes to what beats to write to, what songs to put out, how to promote, how to, you know what I'm saying, strategize on your TikTok, on your Instagram. It is, it is all, because in the rap game, it's all about promotion. It's not even really about how good you are. It's about how good you can promote yourself. And that's mm -hmm. what I've been learning myself. So like, that's why I kind of fell back to re-strategize how I'm going to be promoting my next few songs and next EPs and albums and everything. So that's what I would say. Be Holy Spirit-led and don't just jump out there thinking you know how to do it this way because 
they say songs blow up overnight, but that's not truly how it happens. It's all based off <laughs> algorithms and you know yeah. what I'm saying and how you promote yourself. So I would say strategize on how you promote, build a plan. If you dropping an album or you're dropping a, a single or whatever, make sure you have like a two-month plan on promotion and it'd be Holy Spirit led. Amen. So um what who is somebody you think you want to work with in the industry? Um uh, man, I got really uh, I got a lot of people, a lot of people like <laughs> If I would say, quote unquote, a big name, one of the big names that I want to work with, what I probably, if it's not this year, it's going to be definitely next year. Um, Big Breeze. Okay. Um, uh, the guy, uh, I don't know if it's DGK, no, DKG, Key mm-hmm. or Kai, I believe yeah. that's the name of him. Um, I always want to do a song with 1K Few. 1K Few is kind of, was, him of the Curry was like one of the first gospel rappers I heard once I got into the Christian side of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, as 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 of right now, and um, can't forget carrying the light, carrying the okay, light. That's okay. a guy that I definitely want to work with. And on the female side, Wande definitely want to get a song with her in the near future. That would be yeah. dope. All right. All right. So um, would you would you encourage other artists to uh go down the route of trying to get a major deal, or would you tell them to stay more to the independent route? Um. Like I, when it comes to the deal, it all depends on your background, what you what you consider a gain. That's what I would say. What what are the pros of you signing versus the pros of you doing this on your own? If mm-hmm. if you quote unquote like a three sixty deal, if you feel like you can get in a deal, two year deal or whatever, and you uh, promote drop two albums within a two year deal, but you can get out of it. But within that two years, you gain fans, you gain followers, and now you just set yourself up to become independent. Then I would do it. But it, it, it's pros and cons of signing. Like I'm, I'm more leaning towards the independent side and having the, the back end investors to just so I can control what I'm doing and I don't have to be yeah. censored when I get that platform. Cause like when I get a certain platform and be able to go tour and speak out to a thousand people. I don't want to be censored on what I have to say. I have to mm-hmm. worry about when I get back. Well, you shouldn't have said that this way. And I, I, I want to be cutting blunt, cutting blunt to what I say to the people. I'm not going to just, you know, like give it to you all raw and be harsh. But I don't want to feel like I have to. Oh, did I say this right or did I say that wrong? Like as independent artist, that's what it is. You have independence. You have freedom to move how you want to move. As long as you have a kingdom and a kingdom back and first, and then mm-hmm. naturally a team of people to help you. That's just like a label. A label is just a team of people helping you get ahead. So, but if you got investors and somebody who believe in you and you show them that you believe in yourself first, I would stay independent. That's just yeah. as what I would do. True, true, true. So with that being said, we're going to jump into a video real quick. Be right, be right back, my man, D-Ready. Sure. The love. love is one of the greatest commandments that he is demanded of us to love one another. You are my sister, you are my brother. We shouldn't be fighting, we should be standing united, but instead we divided. Where is the love? It's one of the greatest commandments that he is demanded of us to love one another. You are my sister, you are my brother. We shouldn't be fighting, we should be standing united, but instead we divided. Where, where is the love? I feel like it all just drifted away People become so offended because of my pigment I feel like we're drowning in hate Degrading each other for what? Aren't we all made in this image? I do not get it Love is supposed to be patient and kind I envy them both, I cannot explain it But our hearts turn cold All the love is gone We had turned our backs On those that need us most Satan just love what he's seeing Like love is depleted He feel like he's winning the war But as long as my king is alive And he sits on the throne I know that love is winning for sure Yeah Cause he the greatest display of what love is so the love my neighbor needs to live in him so let's stand together being unified one body living under christ his love will always be amplified where is the love it's one of the greatest commandments that he is demanded of us to love one another you are my sister you are my brother we shouldn't be fighting we should be standing united but instead we divided where is the love it's one of the greatest commandments that he is demanded of us to love
love one another. You were my sister, you were my brother. We shouldn't be fighting, we should be standing united. But instead, we divided. Where's the love? I'm looking around, seeing the world crumble. We supposed to be the uh, example. If they need a shoulder to lean on, they should be leaning on us. And showing up, I seen faces. Instead, we judge with a heart full of hatred. Mm, Jesus died for us to be one. Yeah, 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 yeah. He died and wrapped us in his love. Wasn't you just in a place where you needed Jesus? Grace and mercy, he picked up the pieces. And that's what they needed to see us. We just didn't give him a reason. She said he laid out his life, no greater command. Just for us, do the same. Free from them chains. The moment we speak out his name, we reveal his glory. Our love doesn't have to be heard, it can be seen. Can't afford to go astray. That's why I don't play games when I'm up in their faces. Say, Where's the love? It's one of the greatest commandments that he has demanded of us. To love one another, you were my sister, you were my brother. We shouldn't be fighting. We should be standing united, but instead we divided. Where is the love? It's one of the greatest commandments that He has demanded of us. To love one another, you were my sister, you were my brother. We shouldn't be fighting, we should be standing united, but instead we divided. You ready to do this? Let's do it, man. Man, I'm pumped. Woo! Wait a minute. What are we doing? I, I think we're doing some like singing or something like that, man. I think so. Hey, I can do that. Let's do this. Oh, man, let's do this, man. Let's do this. It's really, really late. Yes, we tired. late. Tired. Tired. Sick and tired. We sick of this. I feel like we're going to throw hey, up. Hey, guys. What? Guys. What? Just rap. I'm so sick and tired. Of getting hurt I used to trust in the world And do his dirty work Now I trust in the Lord And I do his work Because there will be no end result Of you getting hurt I'm so sick and tired Of getting hurt I used to trust in the world And do his dirty work But now I trust in the Lord And I do his work Because there will be no end result Of you getting hurt I don't think you understand what you're doing. You got more to fall out your life than what you're pursuing. You don't understand what I'm talking about. I'm rapping now for the Lord. I rap it without a doubt. I'm so sick and tired of getting hurt. I used to trust in the world and do his dirty work. And now I trust in the Lord and I do his work. Because there will be no enemy so of you getting hurt. I'm so sick and tired. People being admired about doing the Lord's God's desires. I'm sick of all these worldly possessions. Throw them down the drain, you can't buy yourself to heaven. No way, G. It ain't happening, you see? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel me, right? That's your 401k for you right there. Read it. So sick and tired of getting hurt. I used to trust in the world and do its dirty work. Now I trust in the Lord and I do his work. Because there will be no end result of you getting hurt. I'm so sick and tired of getting hurt. I used to trust in the world and do his dirty work. Now I trust in the Lord and I do his work. Because there will be no end result of you getting hurt. And I'm tired of people being conspired, doing wrong things, and of being a liar. People keep knocking, but they won't knock me down. Mm-hmm. I'm so, so sick and tired of getting hurt. I used to trust in the world and do his dirty work. But now I trust in the Lord and I do his work. Because there will be no end result of you getting hurt. There will be no end result now of you getting hurt. You're trusting in the Lord and not doing the dirty work. Because, uh, you repping for the best God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Cats don't understand what I'm saying. Is you feeling what I'm feeling? Spiritually healing, able and willing, get with it. I'm repping for the G.O.D., so you need to know. I'm repping the best in the business, but can you hear me, yo? I can hear you. Yeah. I'm so sick and tired of getting hurt. I used to trust in the world and do his dirty work. Now I trust in the Lord and I do his work. Because there will be no end result of you getting hurt. I'm so sick and tired of getting hurt. I used to trust in the world and do his dirty work. But now I trust in the Lord and I do his work. Because there will be no end result of you getting hurt. There's no end result of you getting your hurt. Cause nope. you rapping for the G.O.D. God Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Got to understand what I'm feeling. You ain't really know. Rapping the G.O.D. from my head to my toe. I'm so sick and tired of getting hurt. I used to trust in the world and do his dirty work. And now I trust in the Lord and I do his work. Because there will be no end result of you getting hurt. Alright, all right, man, you know what? I didn't mean that we said we are going to do. What? Let's do we it. We good. Yeah. You think we good? All right. We are good, man. We're good. I think we're going to get out of here now. Heck yeah. All right. We, 
We're gone. Get out of here. So back once again with D Riddick. So give me something off your bucket list, bro. Off my bucket list right now, I'm gonna give you just basically a musical bucket list for this year. So I plan on releasing a single here coming up, maybe mid August. And after that, I'm gonna release a EP in September. And I'm gonna, it's maybe gonna be like a five song EP. And I'm kind of just gonna push that. So I'm gonna push a single every month off the EP. I'm gonna have the main single that I'm pushing, of course. And then I'm just gonna kind of promote those songs. I'm gonna drop different videos, different little reels and everything for Instagram. I'm kind of gonna, as I'm walking back into 2024, walking into 2024, I want to be more in the face of people, you know, so I'm, I kind of want to get out of my comfort zone and just record making music, posting it. I want to kind of be in front of people. So right now, a little small goal bucket list is to basically get myself back on Instagram, TikTok with reels, making videos and doing music videos. This is where people can see me, see me more. So once yeah. I do that, I can kind of just open my doors for next year to just work with different artists and just allow God to move to see where he's going to take you for next year. Okay. Okay. So, what? Anything on your personal bucket list? Um, right now, right now, right now, I, I'll just speak back musically. My personal bucket list is to next year be doing music full time and basically walking into how God is supposed to be moving me in this ministry. Because right now, I work a job and everything is cool or whatever, make good money. But it's that's not what I know that's not my purpose right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm just believing God and continuing to pray that He opens the doors that next year that I'll be able to do this thing full time so I can not only do music but the ministry of music so I can actually be going to different places, touring or different churches or events and actually ministering to the youth. So that's that's kind of my main goal for this next 12 months is to be doing music full time. Yeah. Full time. Okay, so normally I would ask you what's next, but you already pretty much just broke that down. <laughs> yeah. So, um, this is the part of the show where we give you an opportunity to sound off. Um, if you got any shout outs, you want to say anything inspirational, whatever you want to do, um, uh, promote your, yeah. your uh, social media stuff like that, whatever you want to do, the floor is yours. All right, cool. So, you can follow me on Instagram at underscore D Riddick, that's at underscore D R I D D I C K. I'm the same thing on um, TikTok. Just look me up in the same way at underscore D Riddick. And you can just basically keep up with me. Like, I got a lot of things planned. I got a lot of music that's about to come out. And I'm just, right now, I'm about to give you guys like a whole lot of different, different styles. I'm kind of going to show a lot of little versatility with my next songs. It's going to kind of be a lot of pain songs, slow songs. And of course, I got a turned up songs and I got some worship songs coming out too. I got a couple of worship songs that I'm working on with, um, my church, it's for people at my church. And um pretty much right now, it just I want to say be on the lookout, but be on the lookout. Cause I'm I'm kind of about to take it to a next level of music. I'm kind of about to go hundred miles per hour with it. I'm strategizing, putting everything together so I can have a real plan and a real goal set off. So if I put it on paper, I can bring it to life. So I'm about to just take this music up another notch, take the ministry, the kingdom up another notch allow God to move freely in my life and move with me with his music to save souls. And that's my ultimate goal right there is to basically save the hood, you know? So like one of my songs I, I got coming out, it's called Scars. That's gonna be one of my main, um, my main singles on my EP is called Scars, but I say I'm the streets hope. And basically it's saying like, a lot of people not wanting ministry. Like when you think about uh, evangelism, they go to the homeless, they go to certain people, you know, kind of like the motherly, but nobody really is more like in the trenches in the hood with the people that's on the block. They, a lot of people kind of scared to walk up to them people, but I'm comfortable in that environment and I'm comfortable to walk up to somebody that out there not scared. You know, I got God on my side, so I ain't scared of it. Oh, I'm just running up on somebody, but I, I'm I'm going to be going out, doing outreaches to, to the trenches, to the hoods and talking to those guys that's quote unquote in the trap and showing them like, hey, I was there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can change your wage, you can overnight it don't take a process it's just you gotta be willing so just kind of just put myself out there more ministry wise to be able to just touch more people you know so like i get invited to a lot of different shows and everything here and there but it's kind of like more on the music side and maybe a lot of going on i can't really one-on-one -on -one. so back to the bucket list and one of my other bucket list things too is to start this program called the OG program, the original guidance program, and basically mentor to 
youth between like the ages of like 10 to like 16, 17, and basically kind of like give them something more to do outside of just the neighborhood recreational things that they be doing, just to show them like, I, I plan on having meet myself and a couple other men to basically to like tell their testimony and just help them do things like start a little pro basketball programs, teach them chess, just basically have like a recreational facility that they can come to and be comfortable and be their self and provide food, provide dinners and things like that. Mm -hmm. But that's definitely in the working. And that's definitely something that's going to be happening next year. It's kind of already in the works. And I have some people behind me that's going to help me. But right now we're just looking for a set facility to do that. So keep continue to keep me in prayer for that and allow that to move. But I feel like that's going to be like a major platform for me in my local area to kind of get myself known locally for what I'm doing in the ministry and also known locally for music. So, yeah. and words of encouragement for all the believers, just continue to pray for your mind, man. Continue to pray for a sober mind. Continue to fight the mind wars. It's daily thing. You got to renew your mind daily. And that's kind of one of my favorite scriptures, man. Um, what is it? Romans 12, 2. Be not conforming to the world, but be renewed by changing your mind. I'm, I'm quoting that. <laughs> but <laughs> that that's that's one that sticks with me because it's like, don't be of this world, man. Like, it's so yeah. much things that try to pull you to this world and try to keep you, you know what I'm saying, down and try to keep you, quote unquote, unwoke, as they would say. But it's just like, it's so much more once you become spiritual. It's so much thing. That's like, that's the real woke to me. Like being spiritual, but having God and being never had the discernment to have Holy Spirit to see what's really going on in the world, man. So that's my thing. Just to just open, get your real eyes open spiritually so you can really be in tune. And and if people really truly knew how the spiritual laws work, they can have the world, quote unquote, not saying the riches or whatever, but like you wouldn't have to worry about jobs. You wouldn't have to worry about cars, houses, bills, all this and that, because if you're, if you're following the principal laws of the, of the Bible, everything is supposed to fall in place and that's just how the spiritual law works so everybody be talking this universe stuff but they don't really know that they're talking spiritual that's mm -hmm. that that's spiritual laws that they're turning into the universe laws so yeah. that my thing would just really get in the word get in the bible the bible like i said man the bible ain't just scripture the bible got a lot of crazy stories in it man the bible got a lot of stuff yeah. into it so you really got to get in tune find you a true shepherd that can guide you through this wilderness find you a good church home, man, that, that's going to support you and love you and not judge you and that you can be transparent with. You might got to, you know what I'm saying, bounce around to find which one is what. Just, you know, pray, be Holy Spirit led. That's how I, that's how I move in life. I'm Holy Spirit led, man. So that, that would be my encouragement, like I say, to the people, believers or the non-believers or someone looking for a church home. Like I said, I was that guy in the streets selling drugs, doing everything that you can think of, robbing, stealing. Uh, I did everything. And if y'all go out there, listen to one of my songs that I first put out, it's called Remember. And that kind of give you like a quick little three minute song backdrop of like my history to kind of tell you kind of like what I was doing in and out. So if I can change, everybody always say, if he can change, yeah. <laughs> anybody can change. And I was, I was a stubborn man. I was a real stubborn, but God came through and he did change my life and he continued to change it and have grace over top of me. So I, I got to give him praise, man. So hey, that's man. all I would tell to the people. Hey, just keep the faith. <laughs> Amen. Yes, so with that being said, I'm your host, MC Sunrise Music. Thank you for coming on the show, my man, D. Riddick. And uh, sure, we'll see you guys good. next time, all right? Peace. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Three cube on the beat. Let's get it. Let's do it, baby. Yeah. 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 Still in this race, a lot of folks thought I would quit in this race. Huh? Got free from them bars. A lot of folks thought I would go back a ways. Nope. They didn't think I would change. Spirit in tune, now they look at me strange. It goes so free game. If you really won't change, your life can be changed. Oh, Let me switch it for a second. Tell you how God he throwing these blessings. Like good, I ain't stressing. He stopped me from jigging and scamming for nessing. Yeah. Them packs I was pressing. Lord, forgive me, these just my confessions. Lord, bad at a lesson. Wrapping up packs like they were some presents. Huh? Hey, now I got my sink stay with me. We all on the line to Whitney. Lord, if I'm wrong, forgive me. Came from puffing out smoke like chimneys. With a cup full of yak, no whiskey. Then toss it all like frisbees. I'm just for the peace like hippies. But still need the cream like Krispies. Hey, shake that monkey off my bag. Stack the letters up, Big Mac. Tell the devil, sit back, relax. Before I spin his block, leave his demons flat. Fully loaded word, can't rebuttal that. No
No cap in the world, straight fags. Got a bitch double trying to get a sag. Here trying to take his soul, snatch and grab. Hey, ain't no stopping till I'm finished. Commune juice with the crackers replenished. Grab an envelope, got it 10% them. Bless the trap, Jesus ate with the sinners. Gotta stand there if I wanna win them. I was moving zips like I work for denim. Black mass on the corner like venom. Don't like to break rules, but I bend them. Finesse the double, got my soul, had to spend them. Give it back to the Lord for the kingdom. Smart move, gotta move with the wisdom. Snatch my blessing, cause I ain't trying to miss them. Old me dead, I don't even miss them. Say a prayer, rest in peace, born kiss. Baptized in the water with the fishes, washed in his blood, no more dirty dishes. Hey, uh huh? Yeah. I'm still in this race, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm still in this race, what? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm still in this race, huh? I'm still in this race, huh? Gotta finish this thing, yeah. yeah. What? Hey, I'm still in a race, what? Hey, yeah. I'm still in a race, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm still in a race, huh? I'm still in this race, huh? Gotta finish this thing, yeah. Dirty dishes, ayy. Uh huh? Yeah. I'm still in this race, huh? Yeah. 